السلام عليكم لا تنسوا الاعجاب بالفيديو والاشتراك في القناة تشجيعا لنا لنستمر بنشر المزيد ان شاء الله A few years later, the Nazis put a bullet in me. I was in the hospital for a bit, and then I got a month's leave so I could go home. At least for a little while. Vito! Over here! Joe! Hey! Welcome home, buddy. How'd you know? I got my sauces. Come on, let's take a ride. Nice car. Comes with the territory. I know you're itching to get home, but first, let's get a beer. Yeah, sure. There it is. Empire Bay. Tell the truth, you miss it? Hey, there's a bear shit in the woods. Not like this place ever done me any favors, but anything's better than a foxhole. It's with this shitty weather. They're saying this is the coldest winter on record. Papers say it's gonna keep up like this for weeks. Don't worry though, a drink will warm you right up. How long's it been since we had a drink together, Vito? Two years? Almost three. Tony Sicelli's party, right? Come on, Vito, come on. The last drink we had together was right after your romance funeral. Right before you shipped out. You remember. Uh, Five minutes, we're already talking about my deadbeat father. Can we change the subject, please? So tell me, pal, what was it like over there anyway? I kept reading the papers to see what was going on, and you know how much I hate reading? Yeah, I know. You guys kicked Mussolini's ass, right? Uh, sort of. We had a little help from a guy named Don Calo. No shit, Don Calo. I heard of him. Really? You bet. I know guys like him over here, wise guys. You work for them, you set. You fuck with them, you die. Nice to see you've been busy. Yeah, and I heard you got a medal, right? From old man Patton himself. Whoa, so you're a real war hero, huh? <laughs> and then what? You screwed a couple of Sicilian broads and came home? Yeah, right. <laughs> the old country. Over here, you can screw anything with a heartbeat. No one gives a shit. What a country. Here's to the U.S. of A. and to having you back home. Salud. Ah, salud. Chin down. How come you're back? They let you out early for good behavior? Nah, I took a bullet a couple months back, spent some time in the hospital, and now I'm on leave. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you gotta go back? Yeah, <laughs> what'd you think? The war ain't over yet. You don't...
Here we are. Oh, right, thanks. Well, Keep the change. Is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Vito! Is that Man, let it him go! So sad, yeah, we'll be right back. And I've brought me some corn for Papa. The lights are turned way down low. Let it snow, let it snow. When we finally kiss goodnight, our corn is But if you really hold it tight, all the way home I'll be walking. Hi, Mama. I'm back. Vito. Vito, my boy. <laughs> my boy is at home. I thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> Francesca and me, we wait. Hey, no. sis, what's going and on? We wait for you. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Sit down, sit down. You must be hungry, Vito. Francesca made you a special dinner. Zuppa di pollo. It's good for you. Wow, looks good, Frankie. It's a shame your papa didn't live to see this. He would be so proud, Vito. Yeah, sure. Vito, you know better. Sorry, Mama, sorry. Benedice Signore, Provinciara, Deputata Volontà, Samuel Cimeno, Provinciano, Provinciano, Provinciano. You should get some sleep. Your room is just like you left it. I'll see you two in the morning. Sleep well, mio bambino. This ain't gonna cut it. I gotta find a place to stay. So you have to go back soon? Actually, uh, looks like I won't. Uh, Joe's taking care of it for me. Joe, you want to get into trouble again? Mama, would you rather me go back and get shot again? No. Exactly. No. Joe probably saved my life. Promise that you won't get in any more trouble with that, Joe. You know, your papa used to work for this man at the waterfront named Papa Lardo. He's in the union. You could talk to him, work hard like you were your pup. Talk to him. Please, promise me you go talk to him today. Okay, Mama, okay, I promise. Grazie, Dio. I don't give I'm a sorry. damn. I don't we'll care if you gotta money. sell hey, everything I you got. What the hell's going on here? Vito! You mind your business, no. asshole. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Ah. Come on, Junior. I'm gonna take you to school. Oh, tough guy. Scaring a woman, huh? Come on. Show me what you got. Vito, please. You're making it even worse. Ah. Oh. Stop, stop, please! Vito, what are you doing? Please, Vito, this 
This isn't your problem. You get yourself into more trouble, Vito. Yeah, that's right. Get the fuck out of here. You're gonna be sorry. The both of you. What the hell was that all about? I'm sorry, Vito. We didn't want to bother you with this. Bother me? Bother me with what? Come on, tell me what's going on here, Frankie. Right before he died, Papa borrowed money. A lot of money from a loan shark. Thinking he'd get a better job and pay him back. We found out right after you left for the war. How much? Two thousand dollars. What? Shit. The worst thing is, this guy wants it all back by the end of this week. Otherwise, the debt goes up again. <sighs> I ain't gonna make that kind of money working at the port. Who is this guy? I don't know. Mama won't tell me. It's okay, Vito. We'll manage somehow. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. I promise. Thanks, Vito. Take care of yourself. I gotta get my hands on two grand fast. I bet Joe could help me out. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, uh, do you know where Joe Barbro lives? To the right of the stairs. And tell him that racket last night has to stop. If he don't like it, he can...
pick up them discharge papers. Let's go. You made enough cash for all this in the last three years? More like the last three months. I barely had time to furnish the place. Three months? Holy shit. You just gotta know the right people, and you're all set. Cause you know me. So you thought about what you're gonna do now? You said you were gonna introduce me to that guy Giuseppe. No, 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 no. I meant, you know, the big picture. When you was over there, didn't you think about what you was gonna do when you got back? No, not really. Well, besides the usual, you know. Find a nice girl, settle down. Whoa. Hey, there's gonna be plenty of time for that shit later. Right now, I'm gonna make sure you live a little. Hey, uh... Thanks again for that thing with the discharge papers. Hey, all I did was make a phone call. You can thank Giuseppe when we go pick him up. Hey, uh... You think I could, uh... What? Drive, Vito? The roads are icy. You ain't never drove a car before. Joe, I was driving almost the whole time I was over there. Yeah, but this ain't no tank, Vito. This is one of the nicest cars money can buy. I didn't drive a tank. I drove a Jeep. What the hell's a Jeep? It's, uh... Never mind. It, you're gonna let me drive a while. All right, all right. Here's the keys. Just be fucking careful. All right, when it's cold as fuck outside, you gotta give it a little more gas than usual. That's the pedal over there on the right. I know, Joe, I know. Ooh, get a load of that baby. Nice, that's a 42 Jefferson. Beautiful car like that, it'd be a shame to smash the window. You should grab yourself some lockpicks over at Giuseppe's. Welcome to Giuseppe's General Store, a thief's paradise. You name it, he's got it. He even sells phony gun permits and discharge papers for guys tired of getting their... Hey, Giuseppe, I brought Hello, you a new customer. He's, uh, straight up, right? Yes, sir, all the way. This here's Vito, my oldest friend. This is Giuseppe, the best safe cracker uh, in Empire retired, Bay. please. How are you? The uh, papers for you? Yeah, they are. You got them finished already? It was a pain in the ass, but sure, they're done. Well, thanks. This really gonna work? Nobody from the army would bother you again, trust me. You see? what I tell you? Here's the money. Take your papers, Vito. Uh, we need a set of lockpicks, too. That we do. And guess who's paying for them? Grazie. But you can test it right now. Here, take this lock. You just need to insert the pick into the lock and lift all the pins. You use the wrench to hold the pins one by one. When all of the pins are set, just turn the wrench and the lock shows. Easy. Ah, oh, damn it.
Okay. You still feel like snagging that car? You kidding me? Absolutely. Well, here's your chance. the car not too bad I think I'll keep it all right let's go find ourselves a body shop they provide the kind of services we're looking for hey that don't sound cheap don't worry about it I got it covered just find any body shop I know the guy who runs it Park right here in front of the garage door. Okay, now honk your horn. What's going on? So, something I can do for you? No license plate. <laughs> for you, no problem. There you go. Gave her a couple of tweaks. Thanks a lot. All right, next you should introduce yourself to Mike Bruski. He'll probably have some work for you. All right, where is he? He owns a junkyard over in Riverside. You can't miss him. Hey. Who's that guy back there? What guy? The guy at the body shop. Oh, Tommy. He's my buddy's nephew. He's kind of quiet, but let me tell you, the kid's some hell of a dancer. Saw him at the old dance hall in Easter Bay a couple of weeks ago. He had all the broads going nuts. Do I get better late than never news? Hey, look who's hey, here. Hey, Mikey boy, what's going on? Shit, Mike, you can wash your fucking hands once in a while. Now I need a fucking bath. Hey, I've been working. Working people occasionally get dirty, you know. Besides, I just wiped them off. With what? The same fucking rag you used to clean the toilet, you filthy fuck? Put a lid on it. What, what are you, from the health department, or you want to do some business? <laughs> business, of course. This, this here's my friend Vito. Vito, this is Mike Bruski. But don't shake his hand. I ain't got that much soap at home. Nice to meet you, Vito. Hey, uh, me and Vito go way back. He just come back from overseas and he needs some cash. So I figure he can help with your, uh, supply problem. I can vouch for him. Uh-huh. Okay. Joe told you about our side business, right? Yeah. I only want regular cars, nothing fancy. You get a cut of every car. I take as many as I can handle. And don't bring no cops around, okay? If they follow you here, I don't know your ass from Jesus. You get me? Got it. God damn it, Mike! You put your grubby mitts on my fucking coat. I paid a fortune for this thing. All right, calm down or I'll stick them up your ass, you sissy. You know, dry cleaning costs Jesus these days. Jesus Christ. Spray, and who knows if they can even get this filled you out. You shut up. Vader, listen to me. I need a Walter Coop today. I got a few people looking for parts, but I can't find a car. Because you don't know where to look. Every time I drive down Hunters, I see one parked by a bar there. I think the place is called the Lone Star. Isn't that a Moulinian neighborhood? I'll stick out like a sore thumb. All right, look, I'll give you 350 bucks for it. 
It's worth the risk, right? Four hundred. <laughs> All right, deal. Avito, come on, let's go. Andiamo. Meantime, I'll be sending you the cleaning bill for my coat. Yeah, I'll change my address, you rat prick. Okay, listen up. This is your maiden voyage, so to speak. So try not to fuck it up, eh? Here, Vito, take this, just in case. Hey, nice. Hey, Mike, you mind if I test this thing out here? Sure. Knock yourself out. Here you go. Aim for that old wreck over there. Hey, I need some more ammo. Of course you do. Here you go. Hey, I need some more ammo. Of course you do. Here you go. Hey, you ain't a bad shot. Hey, Vito, see if you can hit the gas tank. Shit. Can I leave gas in that thing? There's a Polak joke there, but I'll leave it alone. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Fuck you. All right, that's enough shooting. We got work to do. It's that cream-colored baby over there. Be careful. Do it quick and get the fuck out of there. Break a window if you have to and go. I'll wait for your back at Mike's. Hey, what if I run into problems? Then you deal with them. Look, consider this a test. If you fail, I hear they're hiring down at the factory. Right, just asking. Good luck, pal. I see you back at Mike's.
monkey thought that everything was on the square. The buzzer tried to throw the monkey off of his back, but... Hey, mission accomplished. How'd it go? Yeah, piece of cake. Except for the fact that the car belonged to a bunch of moolies who immediately tried to kill me right after you left. Eh, uh, probably the bombers. Hunters their neighborhood. Guys like that, you don't have to worry about them. They just hang out on the street, talk shit, steal shit, and smoke dope. <sighs> Let's see what we got here. Mmm, nice. No stains. Clean. Where the lowlife get the money for this. Probably stole it himself. It's nice, though. How much did I say I'd give you for it again? Six hundred. <laughs> oh, I like you, buddy, Joe. Here's your four hundred bucks. Stop by again, okay? We can do some more business. Yeah, you bet, Mike. I see you, Mike. I'll stop by again real soon. All Me right, too. boys. I'll see you later. Here's your three hundred bananas. I'm taking my cut as the middleman. Next time, you're on your own. All right. Thanks, Joe. All right, let's go home. I'm exhausted. By a country road. Is that a safe place to park around here? I don't want to leave this thing out in the street. Yeah, that's why you're parking your car next to mine in the garage. The streets are full of criminals these days. Yeah, the neighborhood ain't what it used to be, huh? You're hungry, there's some food in the refrigerator.
You hungry, Vito? Take whatever you want from the fridge. إن أعجبك الفيديو لا تنسى الإعجاب والاشتراك في القناة